Welcome to my very first Minecraft tutorial ever. In this video, I'll be talking about villagers. More specifically, I'll be talking about zombie villagers. Now, your zombie villagers are a little bit different from your regular zombies. They look somewhat similar to villagers. You know, you can identify them. Mostly the most identifying mark would be the nose. And they do make different sounds. They don't sound the same as um, regular zombies. They have a much deeper kind of groan to them than the regular zombie does. And you have different types of zombie villagers. You have, um, these are your different types here. And I'm going to go through each one individually. So, first on the list, you have your cleric zombie villager. And when he gets cured, he turns into this guy here. And he will buy zombie flesh from you and trade you for uh, trade you gold for emeralds and give you uh, experience potions. And um, he also trades. Um, really good, useful thing is the ender pearls that that he will trade you. Um, in case you just, you know, you're afraid to fight Endermen or something like that. Um, see, now you might be asking yourself, why would I need to know the differences between all the zombie villagers? I mean, they're just zombies, right? Well, if you can't find a village, uh, if you can't find a village in your world, um, and you still want villagers, you're gonna need some zombie villagers in order to turn them into regular villagers so that you can trade with them. And I'll explain how to do that in a later, in a later video. Um, this video, I'm just talking about how to really just identify between the two, between the different types so that, you know, if you do decide to cure them, you, um, can pick what kind of villager you want and cure those so that you have what you need if you need a cleric or you need a butcher or something else. So first up is our our cleric. So you can tell the cleric here by his purple robe. It looks kind of tattered, kind of kind of beaten up, kind of like he's been wearing it for like days or months and hasn't hasn't changed his clothes or washed them so he gets kind of ripped up and dirty so you see like little dark spots on it you see it's been ripped a little bit so that's your zom that's your cleric zombie villager and this is your cleric here he turns into after he's been cured then you got your blacksmith villager and you can tell him by his little black apron here and once again, his, his outfit's kind of torn up too. And the rest of them is kind of like a brown, kind of like a brown color. And then once he's cured, he turns into this guy. So now he can become uh, several different types. Um, now your blacksmith, they come as armor, armors, armor. They come as, um, and he'll like provide, he'll trade you armor like uh, helmets and chest plates and stuff like that. And then you have your toolsmiths, he'll trade you um, different types of tools like a hatchet or, or something of that nature. And you also have your, um, you also have your toolsmith and he'll, he'll trade you, um, He'll trade you different types of tools, like uh, pickaxes and things of that nature. So once again, you can identify this guy from his apron. His apron's uh, black or a light black color, and the rest of him is uh, the rest of his outfit is like a brown color, very much like the brown coats, except for with an apron, a black apron on. Then you have your your nitwit villager, or nitwit zombie villager. And he's pretty much going to be all green all the way around. Um, this guy will, once he's cured, he will turn into this guy. 
And you can't really trade with this guy. Um, as far as I know, these guys are kind of worthless. I think you can still breed with them, so that's good. Um, if you want to breed them. But uh, you're going to have to get uh, another villager to, to throw him food, or you can throw him food yourself in order to get him to breed. Um, but yeah, he's, he's fairly useless at this point. I hope at some point they end up adding more features um, to this guy later on. But as of right now, he's just kind of completely useless. So after him, you have your butcher, your butcher zombie villager, and you can tell him by his white apron here. And it looks kind of like the, the blacksmith zombie villager, except for the apron's white. And uh, once again, the, the outfit's kind of ripped up. And, um, and for the most part, he looks just like a brown coat, except for the white apron. He turns into this guy, the butcher. So he'll, sell, he'll uh, trade you meat, and um, he'll trade you raw, raw meat for emeralds and cooked meat. And uh, he'll trade you emeralds for cooked meat. Um, He's kind of useless because it's very easy to just cook it yourself. Unless you just want to get a bunch of emeralds, you can kill a bunch of animals and get emeralds. So that, that could be useful as well. And uh, next up you have your librarian or your um, photographer white coat uh, zombie villager. And this guy, you can tell him by his white coat. He has a white outfit on, and um, it's tathered up as well on the zombie version. And then um, once he's cured, he'll turn into this guy. Now he can be a uh, he can be a librarian, or he could end up being a photographer. Now the photographer is a new guy, a new villager, and uh, he'll trade maps and things like that. Um, you can get a woodland mansion map. It'll tell you how to. It'll tell you where the woodland mansion is in in the game, or you can get like a, a, a guardian temple um, map and, and, and stuff like that. So um, from the the cartographer, this guy happens to be a librarian though, and you can trade paper. You can trade paper with the. You can trade paper with the um, cartographer as well. But this guy, he has other trades. He gives you enchantments, and he has, I believe he has uh, bookshelves and stuff that he'll trade you as well. And next up, very last, last but not least, in fact, this guy is the most important out of all of them. Because if you don't have any, if you don't have a village or you can't find a village for whatever reason, um, you kind of need this guy. Without this guy, you're not really going to be able to make a, a decent zomb a decent villager breeder. So, this is what he looks like when he's a, a zombie. He is just a brown coat all the way around. Um, nothing really special in his appearance or anything like that. And his nose, his nose is a little, it's a little yellow. Okay. I don't know if that just happens to be how this guy generated or if that's a thing where they, they all end up being like that. But anyway, in any case, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's just how this guy generated. But for the most part, you just look at the outfit and you can tell that he's a brown coat because he's wearing a brown coat. There's like no other, there's no other like significant color to, to differentiate him from anyone else. And uh, so the brown coats, they can be shepherds, they can be fishermen, they can be farmers, they can be fletchers. And they're useful for, um, for trading those things if you want like a fishing rod. But fishing rods are pretty easy to make. Uh, for the most part, these guys aren't very good for trading except for the farmers. At least I haven't really found much of a use for them for trading. Um, but the farmers are really good because um, they'll trade you crops and stuff like that. Um, these guys are also really good because he's the only um, he's the only villager that I know of that can uh, that can farm the crops for you. Um, so you can make an automatic uh, automatic wheat farm or an automatic um, uh, different types of farms with this guy. But um, the most 
the best thing to use this guy for would probably, before you get to any of that, you would probably need to make a villager breeder. And without one of these guys, without one of these guys, it's kind of, it's, it's not very likely to happen. So there's a possibility that, and I think I've seen a butcher uh, farm crops before and uh, a blacksmith farm crops before. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and I haven't been able to confirm it, but I believe I've seen these guys farm crops before. So if you get one of those, all hope might not be lost, but I can't confirm it, so I'm not 100% sure. However, the brown coat is pretty much guaranteed to farm crops. He's the guy you want to get when you're making a villager breeder. 100% this guy, he's your guy for villager breeding. So. All these guys, all these villagers will breed um, if they have the right amount of food to breed. And uh, and yeah, that's about it. Um, but once again, I'll just go through these guys one more time. This is your cleric zombie villager. This is your blacksmith zombie villager. You can tell because he has the black apron there. This is your nitwit zombie villager. Pretty much useless unless you uh, just need another villager for breeding. Um, but he's not going to help you farm. This is your uh, butcher, your butcher zombie villager. You can tell him by the white apron he has on and then the brown coat around the rest of him. This is your librarian or cartographer um, zombie villager and you can tell him by his white coat that goes all the way around. And this is your brown coat z zombie villager which uh, you know, just has a brown coat all the way around. So he's pretty pretty distinguishable. Um, for the most part, it's not too hard to mix these guys up. Um, I guess you could easily mix up the green one with the brown one, or uh, a white one with uh, a butcher because of the, the apron. That's pretty much, I guess you could pretty much see that. That's a possibility. And then the apron here with the with the blacksmith, he might be easily mixed up with one of those um, other two that have brown coats. And uh, that's about it. Um, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to cure these zombies in a later in a later uh, video. And once I have that finished, I'll go ahead and put it on um, put it in the description of this video. But for that for now. That's about it, and um, I'll see you next time. If you liked my video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Goodbye.